Isabella Thales turned 21 on June 8th. She planned to celebrate later in the week with her dad. I didn't get an opportunity to celebrate her birthday with her. You know, I still had her birthday gift. So I didn't get a chance to hug her and give her a kiss and give her her gift. You know, at 21, they're busy, they got things going and... Uh, I said, hey, no big deal, we'll catch up on the weekend. On June 10th, Thallis and her boyfriend went on a walk with her dog, but that walk turned deadly. I actually got a phone call from my youngest daughter, and um, she, uh, she called and said, Dad, Bella's been shot. And at the time, I, I was in shock. I was just getting home from work. It was about one or so in the afternoon. And I said, what does that mean? And she says, well... The news just came out that one person's been shot and one is in surgery and one did not survive. Thallus's boyfriend, Darian Simon, was seriously injured with a shattered femur, but survived to tell his girlfriend's father about the shooting. He says, I feel like the bullets just wouldn't stop. Um, he, he was guessing 30 rounds or more. Denver police say the suspected shooter, Michael Close, was angry the couple's dog defecated near his ground floor apartment. At that point, Darian said, you know, he said, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. He said the dog, the dog's a service dog. It's trained to go to the bathroom. It's, it's a trained animal. Simon cleaned up after the dog. At that time, when he was picking up the poop, he turned around and looked back at the window. And he said the man was crouching down. That's when the gunfire erupted and Thallus was shot to death. Her father says she lived her life trying to make the world a better place. Joshua Thallus says his daughter's kindness touched complete strangers. One of them shared this story with him at her vigil. She would make a point to stop and come over and say hello to me every time she saw me. He says, I'm a nobody. I just... I'm a weed puller here with the bus company. He says, I'm just a groundskeeper. I'm a nobody. And it just really filled my heart with light and love that that's truly a human being she was. Just it didn't matter if you were the CEO or the weed picker that she treated everybody with just so much kindness and love. Her dad says she encouraged people to do their very best. Bella always challenged our family to be a better human being than the one you were the day before. So... Um, we really promoted that and live by that. Thallus worked with her boyfriend at the company he co-founded called Be a Good Person. They strived within their four walls and as human beings to really promote exactly what the clothing line says was to, to be a good person. The family is raising money through GoFundMe to build a dog park where Thallus was killed. They want to carry on her legacy of bringing people together and also create something positive that comes out of their heartbreaking loss. And her sister says, well, dad, that's not okay. She wasn't doing anything wrong. Maybe there should be a place where the people and the dogs can go to have a place. Meanwhile, there's a place where Thallus's memory lives on, a mural painted by artists in her community. As for Michael Close, he faces first degree murder and other charges relating to the use of a high capacity ammunition magazine. While family members wait for justice to take its course, they struggle to make sense of their loss. You know, I believe sometimes the Lord picks the most beautiful flowers first. And this, like I said, this one was really hard. Um, really, really hard because it just, there was truly no reasoning behind it. That's the hardest piece. This makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense. Let's bring Julie Grant in. Uh, Julie, this one, I mean, they're all troubling stories that we cover here at Court TV. I mean, that's, that's how they end up in, in courts across the country. And, but this one, it, doesn't make any sense, but I want to handle one issue first because we heard the description of all these bullets, all these shots. We know, unfortunately, what happened to Isabella. Uh, her boyfriend survived, and everyone's now at home wondering about the dog. Yes. Well, um, one bright spot out of this, that dog is okay, Vinny. That dog, Rocco, is okay. Um, and if this doesn't break your heart even more, um, think about how much Isabella Thallis loved that dog, uh, that dog whose name is Rocco, uh, he's okay, he was not hit. And when that gunfire uh, erupted at them, when they were on that walk, she continued to hold on to the dog. And uh, according to her father, she held on to the dog up until she lost her life. 
And um, I know that's a small fact in in this horrific mess, but it was one of those things that uh, definitely got me. And I'm sure it, it does you, Vinny. This girl's heart was just full of love. And it's so senseless what happened to her. Absolutely. Julie Grant, thank you so much. And, and again, that's another case, obviously, we'll be tracking here.